All right, show them, you guys. I had a video come in from uh, um, Laura last minute. This is um, the video. Uh, when you see me doing the videos and you see the behind me is um, is this. Oh, you can't. You can't see it. Anyway, it's been green. Okay, so now take a look at this field, how, how the tops are starting to look. You got patches that are green. We're coming into, look, the, the, the latter part of May, we're coming into, this is still too early to harvest. You can't even get a first fruits harvest of this right now. It would be like a paste if you tried to grind it. This is still going to be about three weeks out, which push you what? Which puts you where? Exactly what I've been telling you guys, and this is worldwide, by the way. This is not just Oklahoma. This is from Oregon all the way across the United States. This is what the wheat fields are going to look like, guys. This is a fact. I would bet my life on it. And I'm going to prove this to you. This is what the wheat fields look like. It's not quite ready for a first fruits. Okay. You can't. Okay. So if this is a beeb, this would be okay for a beeb. A beeb means ripening, okay? So we could go and cut some of these sheaves and go and wave it if this was barley. But because we have to grind, first we first we have to harvest, then we have to thresh, then we have to mill into flour, and then we have to make bread. That changes things. You, you see what I'm saying? This wheat is not ready to grind, Nowhere close. It's nowhere close, you guys. It's about three weeks out. Okay, look at what, what she says here. 2023 um, update on the wheat field across the street for me. As you can see, things are starting to brown up. Heads are starting to become dry. Now in the next couple of weeks, we'll really see this accelerating. Here are the heads the weeds headed out now would be an awful dangerous time to get hail you sure wouldn't want that to happen right now but as you can see there's a variety of color in that field some's a little browner some's a little greener but there is your may 26 2023 update Thank you, Laura, for that update. You guys, that's what the wheat fields look like. Okay. It 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 does not look like it should look. Okay, so this was just uh this was it's not letting me. There it is. This is what that, that same field looked look like a couple of weeks ago. And that same fill you just saw is just now coming into browning, okay? It's going into the fourth phase, okay? Which takes seven months to do that. So it's about three weeks out. That fill you just saw is still about three to four weeks out, which is right about the time for, for the actual Sukkot, <laughs> about five weeks out, something like that. Because the field has to take, it takes about four weeks of the of the field drying, okay? Because that's part of it. The field, the, the, it dries in the field, you guys. It gets it gets brittle out here, because when it's harvested in in, in modern times, it's harvested with a combine. So by the time it's cut and it goes through the combine, it's going to be a kernel. It doesn't have to go through the threshing floor. That's how modernized we are now. There's no more threshing floor. It goes through the machine when it's when it's cut and comes out the other end just a kernel. All the chaff is left in the field. But in ancient times, all this would have been cut by hand and threshed and milled all by hand, which was a process that took time. You follow what I'm saying? We're nowhere near a first fruits harvest of Shavuot, you guys. It is impossible to have two wave, two loaves to wave 
and I'm trying to appeal to your logic and understanding that the the agriculture is tied to the feast. There's no getting around it. There's no impl implementing, you know, some amendment where we we're doing something else like Pentecost. Pentecost is inserted, you guys. It has nothing to do with Shavuot, even though people think it's synonymous. It's not. It's misleading. It's a misnomer. It has nothing to do with Shavuot. So that's the end of this video here. Shalom to you. May you bless you.